Welcome to the first video uh, on the serial control for the ATM. I'm actually sitting at the workbench at the moment and um, this is just going to introduce the um, various versions of the product. As I mentioned in a um, document somewhere on the internet, this is a um, ATEM controller that actually doesn't use the Ethernet, it actually uses a serial um, connector here which um, plugs into the RS422 connector of, of an ATEM. Uh, not all ATEMs have it, I know that the, the original TVS doesn't have it, um, but just about all the other ones do. This is the ver this version here. This one here is the very basic, what I call the basic serial controller. When I mean what I mean by basic, it has a program row, it has a preview row, it has a cut button and an auto button, and it also has a T-bar for doing it, your dissolves. In the next video, I'll show you uh, show you this actually functioning. But this is just to introduce the various versions. So um, just on the side here, let me just bring the light around. Uh, you'll see it's being powered by USB and um, it, uh, the very basic one doesn't have this second connector that's for uh, that's when you use it with the optional um, display module which I'll talk about later on it also can take 12 volts in up here and uh, lighting's not that good but it's just what we're living with at the moment um, and at the other end, I just might just turn this around a bit so we can see. At the other end, we have um, there is that's just a reset system reset. There's a little adjustment here for adjusting the uh, LED brightness. This unit's actually running in test mode at the moment, so you can actually see uh, the LEDs just testing the LEDs. I can actually increase the um, speed of the LEDs by um, changing the value of the, the T bar. Uh, or I can just take it back down to slow again. You can also, uh, in test mode, you can also just singly hold buttons and just test to make sure they're all working fine. Um, so um, on the end here we have, um, uh, that's a shift button which we'll talk about later on. And obviously that's our interface to the ATEM's RS422 connector. Reset button up here and um, adjustment up here. So this is the, um, so this one, as I said, is the is the very very basic. This this is the the lowest priced version uh, available, and um, they all all versions have uh, the t the ten program and preview rows, and the cup uh, and auto button, and uh, the T bar. They they all have that. So let's just move that one out. So I'm going to move in what I call the this is the deluxe version um, now this has got basically the same end up here let's just bring up right there same ends up there and the same here again there's the um, that's the center connector that six pin is for the display the optional display which we'll talk about in another um, in another video it's actually at the, um, the PC board manufacturers at the moment, waiting for them to come back. And um, but on this one here, the difference is that uh, let me just put this back up here again. You can see the difference here is well, oh, it's fallen. There you go. And um, you'll see that it's got uh, a preview, a full preview row. I guess there's not enough room on the bench for all of them. Move them up over there. There we go. So here we have. Um, oh, Give me, give me room, give me room. Okay, so here you can see we've got uh, an added uh, key bus, and we've also got the added functionality of a mix and wipe selectors, um, and the background and key buttons as you would normally see on a um, on an ATM. Uh, they're also pretty basic on just about all switches. I think they all came originally from the Grass Valley, the Grass Valley panel. So. Um, so this this obviously it costs more money because it's got a lot more buttons, a lot more features, and it's called the deluxe version because it's actually got fully optioned up. Um, um, there are intermediate versions. You can get a version that um, is much the same as um, 
the uh, the basic unit, but you can get the basic unit with you know this one here's also got DSK. You can get the basic unit uh, with the optional uh, DSK white mix and white buttons as you can see here, but no key bus. Um, and then the, and then the next step up of course is getting um, the DSK um, as I said DSK wipe and uh, mix um, and then with the key bus and the background and key but um, that'll be all discussed in a uh, document uh, with the pricing um, now the third unit is called the ultra which is um, this one here now this one here is a little bit bigger because it's got the built-in display now you can get you can get the display um, available uh, as a separate unit which I'll show you in another video but on this particular one it's built in and and uh, this this section up here is um, is what you'll get in a separate display package if you want them as two separate items and you'll probably notice on here that that center connector is not there because the display is built in um, but you'll also notice um, on the back there's a tally connector. Now this tally is, uh, is also available on all units and um, you see this is on the, the basic unit. The tally is an optional um, connector. <coughs> um, you can also get it without the tally which is this one here doesn't have the tally on it. And so these are all the uh, optional extras that you, are available but for the budget minded who just want it like an emergency switcher that, um, that can operate without a, um, uh, a network connector this is the unit for you whereas this one here has got a lot more functionality and um, if I just um, pull the power out of this one and move him out of the way and plug the power oh, sorry about the panning off but I'm going to use a hand there and hold my finger on the shift button to um, invoke the, the setup mode and um, you've got to wait about five seconds and now you can see it's going into setup mode and it's starting to do all the self tests uh, you can see up here on the display um, and um, we can crank them all up that's it all all the buttons all the lamps going flat out just wind it back again uh, and of course you can test when you test when you self test it shows you the buttons you pushed in fact, there's a button here. If I um, I'm try and do this with two hands, sorry about this for a moment. I'm gonna just hit sh shift and button nine. You see all the LEDs come on, and uh, it's, it's just doing a self test. This actually is a good test for the power to make sure you've got adequate power because all LEDs on require the most amount of power. So um, there you have it. We have um, with these in. There's a th there's three. Um, but there's about five or six different versions uh, and as I said well, I'll, I'll put a link up with the document that shows you uh, the build as you can build from the very basic all the way up to the um, deluxe and then full up to the ultra version so when you're ordering you just tick the boxes with what you want these are all handmade to order uh, and as you can see over here at the moment there's a 3D printer madly Cases. Um, so um, contact message me or uh, email me at bazcontrollers.com and um, I'll give you more info.